here on February 12, 2012. And I've lived here May 2012. <laughs> Where did you live right before you moved here? Oh, uh, uh, Rupal. Well, it's moving, moving to any place is a big step. So you don't know if the neighbor's gonna like you, or if they're gonna prejudge you, so you, know, you never know what's gonna happen. But like, like, like I guess to say, when we first moved here, they were working us with open arms and everything, so yeah. that was kind of good. Thought it'd be a fresh start. Yeah, uh, being more independent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like it? Oh, yes. We did. <laughs> like I guess they were saying, we, we get to see our friends. All of us are independent, we go to the mall. We know how to catch the bus by ourselves. Self, yeah. yeah so it's really good for us because before that we had to rely on staff and everything. I'm very friendly with all the neighbors in our building. We know which bus to take and we know what time to come home and everything like that. So yeah. Uh -huh. We're pretty much on our own. It's been good. Yeah, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I like being more independent than I was in other places. We have like a case manager. She, yeah. she helps us with all the other important stuff. I have company, like Esther, come over. So sometimes I cook for Esther and everything. You know, when I come home from work, I'm not gonna go say, Esther, can we talk? So this is like uh, my day, my bed planner. What I do is I fill the pills up in the days of the week. The staff helps me too. Anytime this needs refilling, they come over and fill the boxes and <laughs> light will flash. Yeah. Whatever day it is and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and then we just open it and take it. <laughs> But, man, but if you miss it, it'll let you know. Because <laughs> it'll make it like a little real loud it'll go, noise. Yeah. 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 And this is for like when we go out in the neighborhood. It's a signal like just in case something happens. Like if we fall, we just push the button and we're able to tell the person like on the call like what happened. So my name is Brittany Humphreys and I'm the program manager at Buchanan Gardens, the cluster departments here, and I work with Esther and Gail. And Community Residences is a nonprofit company who works with individuals with dis intellectual disabilities. We currently have seven apartments in the in the program, and then we have a, we have one vacancy, so a total of eight individuals because we have a two bedroom apartment. This started in 2012. They were the originals and uh, they were the first ones to move in and we have been going ever since and we are expanding every day. <laughs> What's very unique about my program is that during the day we typically have a lot of people home. Here the individuals have varied work schedules because they have the community integrated employment so we, might, we have a lot more morning staff than any other group home because we have four or five individuals home at any given point during the morning hours. So if it's a new person that's coming in, what we typically like to do is have them come and visit. There's a lot of come and visit, come meet with the individuals. Esther here has actually taken them on private tours of the neighborhood. <laughs> like we might have them come over another time for one of our house meetings so they can get really comfortable, meet different staff, meet the in different individuals. And we like to talk with them through the process. Like Esther and Gail had mentioned earlier, it is a scary process moving in maybe from a six bedroom group home or at home with your parents to an apartment by yourself. Um, so we work with them and their support coordinator and the families if they're involved on making them feel the most comfortable. We accommodate for pretty much anything. If they have a fall protocol or something, we can accommodate for that. We can get technology that helps with that. Um, we will do pretty much anything to make sure that it is an easy smooth transition for both family and the individual. We are here 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Some people have it where their housing voucher is, or housing grant, is immediately sent to the leasing office. And there are some individuals where the housing grant or housing voucher is sent to them physically. So if they do have the housing grant or housing voucher, we will work with the individual on making sure that the rent amount hasn't changed, um, they're writing the correct rent amount, and that both the checks are being delivered to the leasing office. We work really well with the landlord. They know who we are, we know who they are. Um, it's kind of a um, partnership in the sense that we are here 24 hours a day and they know everybody that we work with and they will call us if they see there's any issues. Um, I can just email them, I'll call them and they're very accommodating to work with. Well, we are very, very active in our community. Um, we find it very therapeutic to be involved in the community. So we do a lot of volunteer work. 
Um, we do a lot of community meetings. Mm -hmm. They are involved in their civitan group. They are, they are involved in different committees to help with organizing volunteer events. They're very well known in this apartment complex. There is no stigma whatsoever. So would anybody like to move back to a group home? Oh, um, I have asked this question many of times to all the individuals that we work with and the answer is absolutely no. It's a big enthusiastic no. They do not want to move into another group home or go back to a group home. And it's nothing negative about the group home that they came from or the company that they were with. It's just they have grown really accustomed to living by themselves and being independent and they really enjoy being independent and having that for themselves. It's, a, it's very self-esteem building, I think, for them. Do you want to move back to the group home? No! <laughs> no! 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 No!